we the people deserve to know the personal political ideology of Ketanji Brown Jackson. It's it's not something that I accept when judicial nominees claim that they are apolitical. I don't believe that people are apolitical. I believe that some people are afraid to speak their politics. I believe that some people are uninformed. I believe that some people would like to be disinterested. I believe that some people are apathetic. I don't believe ultimately that people, especially people in the judicial branch, don't have a political ideology. And so Ketanji Brown Jackson, to put it bluntly, is a liar. She she actually contradicts herself during these hearings. And a liar should not be on the Supreme Court. She first claims that she's not going to wade into political policy itself. I am particularly mindful of of not speaking to policy issues because I am so committed to staying in my lane of the system because I, I, I'm just not willing to speak to issues that are properly in the province of this body. So right there, she claims to be this, this apolitical entity that she's not going to wade into policy because that's not her role. But then when Senator Grassley asks her if she's ever ruled in a way that incorporates her policy preferences on a certain topic, well, listen for yourself to see what she says. Have you ever declined to impose an enhanced sentence on a defendant because you disagreed with the enhancement as a policy matter? Thank you, Senator. Um, Yes, and the reason is because of Supreme Court case law concerning um, the way in which the guideline system operates. The Supreme Court has um, determined in a case we discussed yesterday that the guidelines are no longer binding on judges. So the point here is very obvious. A dishonest person shouldn't be on the Supreme Court. And Ketanji Brown Jackson contradicted herself in a way that shows that she's lying. I mean, we we have a right to understand her jurisprudence before she serves on the Supreme Court. And her jurisprudence is informed by her political ideology. A political ideology is a conglomeration of policy positions or your ideology applies to your policy positions. We, we have a right to know this. And it's it's a very important thing for us to understand. And as I said, I'm not trying to throw an ad hominem for ad hominem's sake, but I am identifying dishonesty when I see it. Ketanji Brown Jackson is using this deflection tactic, claiming that she is apolitical, just so that we don't investigate her personal political ideology because she knows that that is not going to reflect well. It's not because she's apolitical. She she is a liar.